Well, good morning, folks. Welcome back to my channel. Today's a special day. Today's my birthday. Now, normally when you get my age, you don't get excited about birthdays, but this one I am. 54 today. That means I've got seven months to retirement. Seven. Seven. Can you tell I'm excited? Can you tell I can hardly wait for seven months? I'll be fishing, hunting, barbecuing, whiskey, coffee, all the time. I can hardly wait. A couple things going on today. We're going to be going fishing. I got to do some work at the studio. Uh, I got to talk to a client about training her dog. But I got something very special for my birthday from Nate and my kids. Very special. That's all coming up. First, let's go catch some... I'm not sure why I'm doing that. First, let's go catch some fish. We just had a 10 minute rain come through. Being super hot the last few days, so we're probably gonna get a bigger storm later today, but we'll see what happens. Hope you all saw that. Let's see if we can entice him to bite again. Oh, as soon as it hit the water. There we go. That's it, nice. It's a little guy, but it'll work. Right in the top of the mouth. Right where you want him. Look at that, guys. Nice little one pounder. He hit that as soon as it hit the water. Obviously, I started off with the frog, and that didn't do very well at all. Now, this is a 3 8 ounce spinner bait. The tail I got on here is off of a fluke, and it's yellow, obviously. Uh, I had a proper trailer on there last time and it was white and it seemed to do a whole lot better than this one did. So I had the one there, followed it right up to the top, grabbed it at the surface but let go as I threw it back in to try and catch him again. Another one took it as soon as it hit the water. So. You guys have seen this spot before. They like to hang out under the culvert. Oh, there we go. Number two. Another one right in the top of the mouth. A little smaller. Normally they're all over it, right underneath that culvert, so. That's a nice hit there. There we go. Catch and release. Okay, so that come right up the middle. Give it a couple of twitches, let it run along the bottom. That's funny, most of the fish caught here the last few times have been on the sides or under the culvert. There's a nice, oh, there we go. He smacked that a ton. That's it, come on, come on. What do we got? Oh, nice bass, nice bass. Get up here, get up here. Oh. Well, it's not a bass. A bowfin, that's the second bowfin I've caught out of here. He just annihilated. Oh guys, when he didn't come to the top and start jumping, kind of began to wonder what it was. That's the uh, second bowfin I've caught out of here. I 
That one was a little bit bigger than the last one. I mean, obviously you saw the bass, they'll come right to the top and start jumping. That guy didn't, he hunkered down. Initially thought it was a bass when I saw his green back, but... Not the case. Last video I did when I caught six largemouth, they all pretty much came underneath this culvert or alongside this culvert. All the fish today have come out in the canal. Yep, there we go. He was sitting there waiting. Oh, and bigger. Yes, much bigger. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Look at that. Two and a half pounds. Very nice. I saw him jump in the weeds over there. I was not certain what it was, but he showed himself. Oh my God. As soon as I hit the water. Jesus Murphy. He just choked that. Look at that. Little guy, half pound. Okay, so. A nice one hit after I seen him jump. Hit on the second cast. A little half pound fella there. He hit as soon as it hit the water. Here. Okay. Oh, look at that guy. Right on top of the mouth. Skinny little fellow, but I'm not quite sure what's happened, folks. Nothing's changed. They just seem to be on right now. I had to pack up fishing in a hurry. <laughs> Have a look at this, guys. Hopefully my camera, oh, temperature drops. My camera's not going to fog up. This is why I had to leave. So, needless to say, the uh, fish were biting, but uh, lightning and fishing rods just don't go well together. I'm sure you didn't need to be told that, but that's the way it is. I'm on my way to the studio to finish up working. Jen has to open tomorrow, which means I got work to do. All right, guys, time for an update on the studio. We got the uh, walls all painted. Got the floor painted. Got the laminate in there all cleaned. What a project. A little dark in there, but uh, the black mats back down on the floor. All the equipment's cleaned. So, it's coming. Uh, we are now on a deadline. The studio can open in two days. What do I got left to do? Well, today's job. We're going to encase these posts. This post over here. We have to complete this walkway and this walkway over here. Now it's a little after lunch. It's getting a bit of a late start. Don't tell her, but I went fishing this morning when I was supposed to be coming here. Caught two small bass. It was worth it. Anyway, time for me to get to work if this is gonna get done. Well, it's obviously in the next day, guys. I went to the studio last night to go do some work. I didn't get out of there till midnight. Last thing I wanted to do was sit down and edit a video and, or in this case, finish this video and edit it. I just wanted to go to bed. So that's what I did. Like I said, the next day. So, here it is. I'm going to show you what I got for my birthday. For, for, who? Find your words, boy. Find your words. I'm going to show you what I got from Nate for my birthday. And I'm also going to show you the new addition to the Johnson family. But first, I just 
I'm just beside myself. I, I, I have no idea what to do. I just come home from work. Thought, you know what? Grab a bite to eat. Go downstairs. Maybe finish the video. Control. Control. I got very little right now. Look at my bar. Seriously. Look at that. Are you kidding me? That's my coffee bar. My whiskey bar. Two key words in there. My and my. People just pile their stuff up. No respect. None whatsoever. Anyway, I need to get that cleaned up. I'll show you what I got. Okay, guys, so I tried to do the old fancy snap your fingers and the bars clean. I forgot where I was standing. Bars clean. Anyway, big reveal. What did I get? Whoa! You guys already know I have a Russian made SKS numbers matching rifle. I've been talking about this for a long time. Clearly, Nate pays attention when I talk. Who would have thought that? So he shows up for my birthday yesterday with a brand new Mosin Nagant. Looky there, looky there. Uh, this thing is full of Cosmoline, so it, it's brand new. It is, as far as I know, it has not been fired. All right, so there you have it. That's gonna be it for today's video. I almost forgot. I did mention we had somebody new in the Johnson family. Uh, Ella, bring the uh, little firecracker over here. <laughs> Drum roll, please. Dun, 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 dun. Diesel the dog. All right, folks. Here you have him. This is Diesel. He's 10 weeks old. Uh, as you know, Jim wanted a German Shepherd. I wanted a lab. It's so, a yeah. German Shepherd lab mix. So this young fellow is Diesel. Jen named him. And uh, I'm still looking for a lab, although maybe I'll see if this guy here will retrieve some ducks. The puppy stage? Yeah, puppy stage. There's something to be said about having a dog that's already trained. Bounty, I got him at a year old. Didn't have to go through the puppy stage. He only go to the bathroom. He'd go stand at the dark door and he'd bark. Uh, this guy here, he needs to go to the bathroom. He just squats and lets her go. Sometimes you don't find her for... An hour later, you find it by stepping in it. Anyway, that's all I got for today's video. I'll have a lot more on diesel coming up. Um, I want to show you guys this rifle. You guys know I'm a big gun guy. And uh, my kids really made my day. So to my kids, thank you very much. Uh, this was not expected at all and uh, made me very happy. And that is all I got for today's video. Uh, the next video coming up, well, maybe not the next one, but Coming up, I'm going to show you how to take the Cosmoline off here. Pretty sure I'm saying that right, Cosmoline. Um, I'll have more detail about what it is, why it is, and why these guns are caked in it. And I'll go into a lot more detail about the rifle itself. Oh, smooth as gold. Anyway, that's all I got for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed that. To my kids, thank you very much. Very much, I appreciate it. I'll see you all in the next one. Later.